the Olympic gold medal is one of those <laughs> top goals that you have. Funny enough, I don't even write a goal. I hold back my goals. I put them on pause a bit, but. Now that's surprising. Most, if not all, of the athletes have been gearing up for the Paris Olympics as early as last year. To know that Paris is not a definite goal at this time for Sharika Jackson means a lot. But she is Sharika Jackson, so what do we know, right? Well, what we actually know is that we are yet to see the Jamaican track star compete this season. While Sharika was originally set to open her season in Jamaica in mid-January, she ended up not competing there. For context, she was supposed to line up at the JAAA Puma Fuller Anderson Development Indoor Meet at GC Foster College in Spanish Town, headlining a women's 60-meter field that also included her training teammates from the MVP. Two-time World U20 100-meter champion in Tina Clayton and her twin sister Tia. The meet was supposed to mark the start of Jackson's build towards this year's Summer Olympics. However, as earlier mentioned, she had to delay her season debut until the women's 60-meter at the Grace Jackson Queens Development Meet at the National Stadium. That would have been her first race of the season, except shortly before the meet, in fact just a day before, track and field fanatic O&M revealed in a tweet, Sharika Jackson has withdrawn from the women's 60 meters at the Queens Race Jackson meet tomorrow. He was not hesitant to note that it was the second meet she has withdrawn from this year, having pulled out of the JAAA Puma Fuller Anderson development meet because she felt under the weather. But she's not Sharika Jackson for nothing. Despite her absence in the Queen's Grace Jackson meet, she still holds some stellar records to keep her way ahead of her rivals on the track. Listen to this. She is the recipient of the prestigious RJR Gleaner Sports Foundation's National Sportswoman of the Year Award. She received the award at the Jamaican Pegasus Hotel in New Kingston in January, after she capped off an impressive 2023 season. Jackson took to Instagram to share photos of her that night. She captioned the post, She's Royal. Another post showed her holding a handful of trophies. The post was captioned, I am truly grateful. It was quite a lengthy post as she expressed her gratitude to the RJR Gleaner Sports Foundation, her family and friends, her coach, agent, the management staff, and teammates at MVP Track and Field Club, as well as her sponsors. Along with her message of gratitude, she left an astounding message. In the midst of your struggles, stay humble, stay committed, build your physical, emotional, and mental strength because your mind is the most powerful tool ever. That is 100% true and even more so for athletes like her. They have to be healthy both physically and mentally. After all, their bodies can only take so much heavy training and their mindset has to be sound in order to actually live through years and years of rigorous training. And as you all know, one of the major events that athletes really and truly prepare for is the Olympic Games. That said, rivalry among international stars is expected and more so anticipated. Sharika is no exception, as fans would like to see which events she will participate in and who she will be running against, or more particularly, if she will be competing against American Shakari Richardson. You should know that both athletes have been nominated for the 2024 Lorella Sportswoman of the Year. Speaking of which, the two sprinters were expected to open their 2024 season in early April at the 2024 Miramar Invitational in Florida. Notably, both sprinters haven't raced since the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene last summer, where Jamaican Jackson wrapped up her season winning the 100 meter for the Diamond League trophy with Richardson placing fourth. The Jamaican star has skipped the indoor season and has chosen the Florida meet to start off her outdoor racing before launching her Diamond League title defense in Suzhou, Shanghai over 200 meters in China in late April. Because I did not go to the world indoors, I held back my goals and put them on pause a bit, she said in an interview with Sidious Mag, where she also touched on her long-term targets as she aims to lower Florence Griffith Joyner's 200-meter world record of 21.34 seconds. I definitely know them in my head, it's just to put them on paper and put that paper on my cabinet or fridge, I've yet to do that. I've yet to achieve an Olympic gold medal, so definitely know that's one of the goals I want to definitely achieve. Double world gold medalist Richardson, on the other hand, was among the standout performers at last year's Miramar Invitational. 
She dashed to a wind dated 10.57 seconds, the fourth fastest 100 meter time in athletics history in all wind conditions. The American went on to dominate her races in 2023, which culminated with the two world titles in Budapest in the 100 meter and 4 by 100 meter relay, as well as 200 meter bronze. Meanwhile, Jackson, a five time Olympic medalist, also featured in the 2023 Miramar meet in Florida, finishing third in the women's 400 meters. As it was a highly anticipated race, fans were disappointed to find out that Jackson withdrew from the Miramar Invitational further delaying her preparations for the upcoming Paris Olympics this summer. No official reason was given, but a message on her Facebook page read, Never quit. Unfortunately, Sharika won't be competing at the Miramar Invitational this Saturday. We'll definitely keep you all updated whenever the season opener is scheduled. President of MVP Track Club Bruce James affirmed that pulling Jackson from the meet was in her best interest. This is the right decision for Sharika right now, said James. Richardson, too, opted to skip the event at the Anson Sports Complex, which she won last year. In Jackson's absence, two-time world bronze medalist Seda Williams of Barbados took victory in 22.82 from Denmark's Ida Karstoft. Anyhow, Jamaica's two-time reigning world champion could make her season debut at the Diamond League opener in Jamen, where world 100-meter champion Shikari Richardson also entered the 200 meters. However, yes, again, a tweet revealed that Sharika Jackson has withdrawn from the Suzhou Diamond League. The world 100-meter silver medalist is yet to cite why she withdrew from the event, a move that has raised eyebrows in the world of athletics. Notably, it is her fourth withdrawal from her season opener in 2024. Needless to say, it is yet another delay to start off her season. Jackson delaying the start of her season means that track fans will have to continue to wait to see a race between her and American 100-meter world champion Shakari Richardson. Meanwhile, following her withdrawal from the Miramar Invitational, Richardson launched her season at the Diamond League meeting in Xiamen, China, where she finished second in the 200 meters behind 19-year-old Tori Lewis. Where does that put Sharika Jackson, who is yet to start her Olympic season? Well, the world record is on our minds, but it's not something we're going to dwell on in every race. At least that's her mindset for the Paris Olympics. Once I'm healthy and once I'm in peak form, anything is possible. I am the athlete and my coach will prepare me for the right time, she added. The upcoming Olympic Games will be Jackson's third time participating. In her debut at the 2016 Rio Olympic Games, she bagged a bronze medal in the 400-meter race and a silver in the 4x400-meter relay race. The Jamaican athlete won the gold medal in the 4x100-meter relay race in 2020. She also added two bronze medals in the 100-meter and 4x100-meter relay race events. Jackson has been speaking about her 2024 plans, including a tilt at the 200-meter title in Paris as well as improving on her 100-meter bronze from the Tokyo 2020 Olympics in 2021. What do you think will happen in Paris? More than that, do you think this athlete will end up participating? 